Hello guys, what up and welcome. I am so very happy for you because the video you are about to watch will wow you. This is a high probability setup trade I took on EuroCHF securing one ratio 100 risk to reward and all my entry criteria were met. This video is highly educational and I am so very sure that when you are done watching this video, you will look for me. Yeah, you will look for me. Alright, my name is Mr. Peak and without wasting much of our time, let us move into the chat and see the breakdown of Euro CHF. So, follow me. Um, so, jumping into the chat quickly, let me explain um, the Euro CHF trade that I took. Uh, I got very much interested in this trade after I spotted this reaction. Um, this buy reaction from here and this is um, the reason of course i took this trade off um, this um, other block this demand um, that is right right here the daily demand that is right here and um, let me shorten this beautiful so look at this daily demand um, this was the last push down candle before this impulsive move to the upside and what we had in the whole of this range, what we had in the whole of this range was uh, a reaccumulation of price to push further um, to the upside. We had a reaccumulation of price to push further to the upside. And um, just before this impulse, or just um, before or after the reaccumulation of this price that uh, moved the um, market impulsively, um, I noticed that um, we had liquidity built around, we had liquidity built around here. Of course, we had liquidity built around here, and this made the lower zone to be very much interesting to me. So price reaccumulated, pushed further high, and I have my demand just below um, the reaccumulation range. So that means this is serving as an inducement for this demand. Now, look at when price became bearish. Price was bearish on the daily. The immediate daily downtrend was bearish, as we can see right here it was bearish forming series of um, lower highs and lower lows we had the bearish downtrend um, um, intact lower highs lower lows lower highs and of course i got very interested immediately i saw that the liquidity here the liquidity in this reaccumulation period was taken out but price didn't mitigate this demand price didn't mitigate this demand thereby um, having or storing up liquidity again here. Now, liquidity before a demand or liquidity before a supply uh, makes that supply more likely to be utilized or more likely to be used. It becomes a very important um, area of interest that you should watch out for price and watch out for how price will play out when price eventually gets there. And um, of course, I am not an aggressive in, um, trader, so I didn't take the trade immediately. Price um, got to got to this um, daily demand. So let me go to my four hour. Of course, you should know that this yellow zone is um, my daily demand, my daily order block. So it becomes very interesting because of this liquidity before the zone, the liquidity was taken out and there is another liquidity stored here just before the zone. So I want to see how price reacts. And um, I want to see how price reacts and uh, was price reacts and gives me um, a, a bullish intent, then I'll have to look for entry. And of course, I will drive price down to this last supply, to this last daily supply that um, cleared this low and drove price to this downside. So this is going to be my final target, which is around um, from here. I don't know where price will start, but I have to see reaction from here down here. This, over over 200 plus pips so now let's let's go to my one hour i want to go to my one hour and see how price played out see how price played out so let me remove this um downtrend um arrow right here so let me see how price played out immediately price got to my zone so let's see i, I want you all to see very clearly so look at the liquidity stock just below the zone and um, let's see, price started moving. Now let's see what price did. Nicely, price tabbed into the zone. 
And of course, we saw a very good reaction from the zone. So immediately, um, this low, this liquidity was taken out. I just know that, okay, price might be ready to move. And for price to move, I will have to see a sort of an accumulation and see institutions carry out the manipulation before price will move impossibly to the world, to the upside. So I will have to start um, zooming in so that I can see what um, price is actually doing. So let me see. So I noticed in the period of range, price came tapped into the zone, revisited the zone, revisited the zone and went up. So this is like a bullish intent. And of course, now price has tapped into the zone and still creating liquidity in the zone. So I'm expecting a move. I'm expecting a move. Or I'm expecting an internal break of structure so that I can have a bullish confirmation that price is ready to go up. So let's, let's see what price played further. And I'm going to show you exactly where I took the trade. And um, wow, I love this move. Now, this move is very, very important, very, very important because the move that went um, to grab this liquidity, liquidity in the zone. So I would like to see how price will also, um, price should actually trade back into this place, but I'm still not going to take the trade if I don't see um, a, a break of structure. I'm still not going to take the trade if I don't see a break of structure. So I expect price to trade lower. But in this period of range, I am starting to see, started noticing some things and then price traded back into it. And right there. All right, let me explain what happened here, what I noticed here. Okay, when liquidity was stored up here and um, this is the bank came, grabbed liquidity, created a high. But let me show you something. Structure is not yet um, taken out. Structure is not yet taken out. Let me point some um, a very key area of interest in the period of this range. I have this um, automatic rally up here. And um, these are my major structure points here. This is the bank. Grab this liquidity and then um, created a high. Then we had this move back to where? Back to the banks. Back to where the banks were to create a new higher high. Of course, structure is not yet um, confirmed to be bullish in this ranging period. Why? Um, because I have not seen um, a, a, a break of structure yet. And then um, from this low, from this low, I noticed that we went to form a new high. We went to form a new high here. So this is a new high here. So I have seen that, oh, one hour, is now bullish, one hour is now bullish. So I'm expecting price to trade back into a very much discounted price between this trading range from here to here. I'm expecting price to even come to as much discounted price as um, the opening of this move here. So then I need to now spot a lower time frame break of structure. I need to see a lower time frame break of structure. So let me play price and see what happened next. And of course, price, okay, sorry. Something I needed to show us right here that made me take this trade. Now, what happened? I have seen that um, price has traded back into this um, demand that formed a new high. So I would need to see a lower time frame break of structure here. I would need to see lower time frame break of structure here and a possible zone for me to um, eventually enter my trade. But now one hour is bullish. I need to confirm with a lower time frame. So I went to five minutes. I went to five minutes and I saw something very, very, very nice. I saw something very nice. So from this zone that I wanted to take my trade, that I was looking for a lower time frame break of structure to take my trade, I saw this very minute internal structure that gave me a confirmation. Now look at this. We have high, low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, and we have a higher high. So this, the whole of this move down here is a retracement of um, the bullish break of structure of the one hour. So market has come to as much discounted price as the opening of that impulsive move. And now I was now waiting for a lower time frame break of structure for me to have a very, very uh, refined entry. So look at what I have here, lower highs, lower lows, lower high. 
until we form the higher high. So look at the move that form the higher high. This move cleared this high, this high, and this high. So um, five minutes is now bullish. But now, um, where did I take my trade or where did I enter my trade? Look at this last push down candle before price broke this high, this high, and this high. So this becomes my uh, valid demand. This becomes my true demand. How do you know a true demand? A true demand must serve purpose in an area of interest. Like the last push down candle before market moved impulsively to clear a high or the last push up candle before market moved to clear a low. So this was the last um, range on the five minutes that had an effect of clearing this high, this high, this high. So this becomes my POI for entry. This becomes my POI from entry, of course, um, from this wake up here. From, okay, from this week up here down to the uh, week of the other block. So this becomes my, my demand. This becomes my true demand where I'm expecting to take this trade. This becomes my true demand. Very, very important demand I have right here. Now, for a more precise entry, I did something I always do. Uh, my Fibonacci from the, from the high to the low of this trading range of this other block, uh, um, I have a line on the 50% of it. My horizontal ray on the 50% of it. And there's something about um, equilibrium price. There is something about equilibrium price. So the black line here was where I set my limit and my stop loss was just below this zone. So the stop loss was, um, let me show you the stop loss. Just have um, a 1.9 1 1 pip stop loss. And let's see how price play out. In fact, let me use my markup tool. Okay. So... I have my I have my stop loss to be just 1.9 pips. I had my stop loss to be just 1.9 pips. And let's see. Let's see um, how price played out. Right there. Right there. This was a perfect sniper. This was a perfect sniper, exactly the 50%, exactly the 50%. But of course, you can actually set your limit a little bit above this 50% for the sake of spread so you don't miss out on the move and market activated right there with just um, a two, a two, approximately two pip stop loss. And where was my target for this trade? Let me go back to my higher time frame. Let me go back to my higher time frame. All right. So on, um, on my VIP signal channel, I gave them a target. I gave them a target of um, about 100 pips to this um, demand, right to this supply right here. About 100 pips to this um, supply right here. But my, my final take profit was the supply on the daily that... Um, that um, give rise to this down move. The supply I told you, clear this structure. Let me go back to the daily. This was my target for the daily. The last supply that gave rise to um, this downfall or the last supply that broke this low and um, drove market to this range was my final target. So this was my final target. My final target was from here. Final target was from here. My final target was from here to here. About 200 pips. So let me, let me go back to my one hour and let's see how price played out. Let's see how price played out. Let's see how price played out. So this 
right here is my final target from the entry. This is around 208 pips. So this is my final target, over 208 pips. And let's see what happened next. So price kept going. Very, very simple. We had an initial downtrend. Um, we had liquidity before the demand and um, um, liquidity was cleared. Then we waited for an accumulation, a break of structure, um, lower time frame refinement, and we got an entry. And of course, price moved and eventually, eventually got to um, our final take profit. It was a very clear trade, very sweet and very, very nice. All our entry criteria were met and then we launched. And of course, price hit our target and um, had a little bit of um, redistribution before moving down. And of course, I even caught the sell trade from here. But well, this is how we secured um, one ratio, 100 pips. I'm using um, approximately two pips stop loss to secure uh, a 200 pips um, final profit. And um, it was it was actually very nice. And let me show you, let me show you um, the um, the proof of um, of trade. So this is the um, proof of trade. This um, was the analysis before um, we took the trade. This was when trade took off from um, the area of interest, and um, and it moved. And of course, it was called in our mentorship. It was dropped in our VIP channel as a trade idea and a signal. And um, look at my proof of entry and the trade moved. So I want to believe that you um, have learned a lot from this breakdown of Euro CHF. Um, do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel to get more updates. Thank you and bye-bye.